All right, you guys, it's 8.03, December the 14th. God bless each and every one of you. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm going to read a little bit, you guys. I got a few verses I want to go over. I'm going to do First Peter and Second Peter. First Peter uh, two five or two fifteen. Okay, here we go. For so is the will of God, that with well doing you may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men. You guys. Um, we got a lot of people out there that are constantly trying to cause division and hearsay, gossip, lies, anything. Um, we're at the end. I would recommend that you stay focused and test all spirits, who they are, and this is what they do, okay? If they're not telling you the times that we're in, if they're not warning people about what they're doing, or the ships out at sea, how it's fulfilling Bible prophecy. If they're not doing these things, I would highly recommend that you don't waste your time. And most of all, don't waste mine, okay? Because I don't want it to be wasted with these nonsense. That's what it is. It's nonsense. Okay? These people are mockers and scoffers, and that's what they do. So if you would, please... Um, if you want to listen to it and you can't discern the, between right and wrong, then that's on you. But I don't waste my time with it. I'm asking you, please don't bring it to my attention. I could care less what they're doing out there. I could care less what they're saying. The ships are out at sea. This is getting ready to be over here real soon. There's a lot of people that ain't even doing that. They're not even telling you what's going on. All right, stay focused. That's my best advice to you. Stay focused. Don't be led to error with the wicked. All right, let us go to Second Peter chapter 3, um, 3 and 4. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they are willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. <coughs> You guys, this place is about to be burned up, okay? When I'm telling you those containers at sea, Revelations 18, what does it say? They see this great nation burning from afar, okay? This place is going to burn. Stay focused, okay? There's going to be a rapture, but stay focused, if people are bringing nonsense to you, you know, I would highly recommend that you don't listen to it. And the last thing that you want to do is bring it to this channel. Because I'm not going to have it. I won't have it. The heavens and, but the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, they're kept in store. They're reserved under fire against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. One day is with the Lord as a thousand years to us, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord's not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness. You guys, I'm going to tell you, the devil knows his time is up. And many of you I've shared with you before at the game, Tampa Bay Lightning Stadium in 2014, the spirit of the Lord was working through me and the spirit of the devil was working through my football coach, whom I hadn't seen in 40 years. In 2014, when they offered me money not to speak, and this just came out of me, I said, the games are over. 
And then I heard a voice come out of him. And I didn't plan on saying what I said, just came out. Then I heard the voice come out of him going, no. Scared, because the devil knew his time was up. And six years later, everybody's wearing masks. Everybody's getting this put in their arm. I highly recommend that you stay focused. And does it surprise me that mockers and scoffers would be trying to stir up strife? Not at all. But when other people come on to my channel trying to bring that mockers and scoffers to my attention, I don't want to hear it. You've been watching me for a while. You know what I'm about. And if you don't know, this is not the right channel for you. If you want to go out there and listen and follow a lot of nonsense, that would be the best place for you to be because I don't play games here. This place is reserved for fire and it's going to burn up. Yeah, I would recommend that you stay focused. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. I wonder what elements that is out there. I think maybe it's all those chemtrails we've been seeing for several years that they've been spraying in the skies nonstop. Maybe those elements, they've got a loon in a minute. When that heat gets so close, it's just going to burn up really quick. They will melt with a fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Okay, this is why I'm saying please don't bring that nonsense to my channel. There's mockers and scoffers been out there doing what they've been doing for a long time. If you want to look at their channel, look at it. That's what they do. My channel speaks for itself. Okay, so please don't bring that nonsense here. And if that's what you're here for, if you're going to be bringing their nonsense, if they can get you to waste your time to bring their nonsense to my channel, they're already blocked from my channel. And if I get other people from my channel bringing their nonsense to my channel, I will block you too. And I don't mean it to be mean, but I mean what I'm saying. Looking for the hasting and the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with a fervent heat. Okay? So you guys stay focused. I highly recommend that you stay focused. Here, verse 17. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing that you know these things, beware lest you be led away with the error of the wicked, that you fall from your own steadfastness. You guys, what I'm telling you is this. Satan comes as an angel of light. And his ministers come as ministers of righteousness. Okay, I've been on here doing what I've been doing. And I've been speaking the truth. And I don't know everybody that's on my channel. I really don't. And there's a lot of people that make comments. I still don't know them. And for all I know, I could have people coming on here just to later cause problems just to cause problems. And then I have to discern that. You know, because like I said, they come as angels of light and they come, come as ministers of righteousness. Now, there's a lot of big name people out there. They ain't warning nobody about this. They're not warning. They're not telling you about the container ships out at sea either. They're not warning you about that. Okay? They're... Every, they're doing anything but that. You know, they're telling you to go vote for Trump. To make America great again. You know, 
that they'll try to mislead you in many ways. You guys, it's over here. This is over and it's getting ready to be destroyed. This is the time you need to come out from among them. Okay? And get, come out of this world. Be separate, lest you suffer their plagues. Be very careful, you guys. That's the best advice I can give you right now, okay? And uh, we can comfort and edify one another. But I'm just not going to have that because, like I said, we're at the very end. And if anybody can entertain that kind of stuff at this time, then this is not the channel for you. You know, if there's a lot of things you like surfing and watching, this is not the channel. I'm focused on what's coming, what's getting ready to happen. And I'm seeing it according to what's written in Scripture. Let's go to Psalms 14.1. I've had mockers and scoffers, you guys, on this coming against me on this channel for years. For years. And, and if you can't discern what type of people they are, and if this is all they do, I don't know what to say. You know? I really don't. Fourteen one. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that does good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that does good. No, not one. This is where the grace of God comes in. Many of us, like it says in Ephesians 2, he quickened us in when we were dead in our sins. Even when we were going to the course of this world. Be careful. Don't get led away with them. You don't want to find yourself saying, Lord, Lord, let me in. Because you are following mockers and scoffers. All right, let us go to, uh, let's go to Matthews 7, 6. 7, 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under feet and turn again to rend you. Okay. You guys, there's things that we know we try to share them with people that can't receive it. Tried witnessing with somebody right over here at the desk, front desk. Told me I should go see his pastor. He's a non-denominational. And I said, is he saying anything about this? He goes, what do you mean that? I said, well, the the V. And he goes, oh, well, he already did that. I said, he already did it? And he goes, yeah. I said, well, I don't need to see him. I said, have you? And he goes, yeah, I have. And I'm like, you know, there's nothing I could say to you. Nothing. You, you're you doing what the world is doing. You know, they're already gone. All right. Let's go to John chapter 8, verse 47. You guys, we're right at the very narrow. There's not really, you know, Look at, it hasn't even been a year since they started the V, okay? Not even a year. And the ships are out at sea. One plus one equals two. I know that. I can see what's coming after that. It's not going to be much longer. 
And I've had dreams where I've seen out in Europe, in Paris, people like playing tug of war underneath the Eiffel Tower. Well, now they're out there and uh, I've seen where they drop their rope and they take off running. They're out there now beating up the police, beating them with baseball bats and stuff. They're like, they're in mayhem, total chaos mayhem. The military is going to be coming in on this now and they're going to take off running. People are being arrested over there. See, remember now, Babylon gets boom, boom, boom. It's going to be burned up. And your government is all part of it here. Okay? I'm not worried about it. I'm just giving everybody a heads up. And I know they know. They've known about me since I started a long time ago. Saying this, what's coming. I'm not out there trying to warn anybody anymore about what's coming because we're way past that now. Now it's all about, you better be buckled up. You better be ready for it. And your faith has better be right. Because, and I've been telling people warning about the guns too. If you got hope, if you turn to a weapon that you think you're going to save your family, or you're going to do something with that gun, you're going to be tried. And then if you become a murderer, you better see who inherits the kingdom of heaven and who don't. See, because if you don't have the faith that the Lord can protect you now and your children and everything, if you don't believe that, you're going to be tried. I guarantee it. And I ain't saying this mean. But I am, I mean what I say. I guarantee it. Okay. All right. 847 in John. Blessed is he after he has been tried. You'll receive the crown of life. All right. He that is of God heareth God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. You guys, you can read all these scriptures, man. That's when he was talking to the Jews and they said, We are not, uh, are we not right saying that you are a Samaritan and you have a devil? See, they were the ones that had the devil. They just didn't know it. Jesus said, I am not a devil, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me, and I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keeps my sayings, he shall never see death. All uh, right, let us go to Second uh, Timothy, or better yet, let's go to Luke eighteen eight. Eighteen eight. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Will he find faith? You guys, I hear it all the time, man. When somebody tells me what they're going to do with their gun, that's their way. And their way is not God's ways. And the scripture says that. Okay? Never was. People have never been on that path. Yeah, you know, only until he quickened us in with Christ did we even start to see. And only by the Holy Spirit can we fully understand. And if you don't fully submit yourself unto him and humble yourself before him and repent from your sins and repent knowing, thinking you were, I would know nothing if it weren't for the Holy Spirit. And when, you, when I hear people that think they know more and they're, they're going to be a weapon, 
And what really gets me is when they're in here even trying to read scripture and teach somebody something. That really surprises me. And there's a whole lot of it out there. <laughs> faith in the Lord, real faith, real faith, that's what this should be. People that are teaching the word of God, they shouldn't have they shouldn't have any kind of hold in this life. But they do. There's a lot of them. You got to be, let it go. Let it go. All right, let us go to, uh, let's go to Acts 1730. 1730. And the time of this ignorance God winked at. But now he commands every man everywhere to repent. In other words, time is up here, and uh, everybody better well act like it. You know, when God was going to reveal himself to the Hebrews on the mountain there, and they said, no, 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 Moses, we'll hear you. We'll hear you. They never listened to Moses. But they wanted to hear from God. They would only believe it if it came from God. And then when he was ready to show himself, they said, no, 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 no. We don't want to hear unless we should die. Moses said, no, don't fear because God, God wants you to fear him that you sin not. That you sin not. People say, oh, that was the Old Testament. You know, like they, like it's, like it's okay now. No, it's not okay. That's like trampling the blood of Christ on their foot, a holy thing. It's not okay. Nobody would have made it had it not been for his grace. And some of us were quickened in with Christ. But I'm going to tell you something. He knew from the beginning that we wouldn't take this lightly. And that we know only by the grace of God are we even uh, aware or know anything at all. It's not of our doing, but his. And that's his grace. That's his love. And it's him. It's all his. It's by his righteousness. And it's his glory. Okay. Let us go to... Um, let's just go to... Uh, Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4, 17 and 18. This I say, therefore, and I testify in the Lord, that you henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their own mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness, to work all uncleanliness with greediness. But you have not so learned Christ. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus, that you put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitfulness of lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put off, that you put on the new man, which is after God is created in righteousness and in true holiness. Therefore, putting away lying, Speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry, sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. See, these are the things I'm telling you guys what they do when they try to bring in strife, when they try to bring in division. And, you know, like I said, you guys, I... I'm just telling you straight up. Anybody, if you get contacted by a mocker scoffer, 
and then they try to get you to bring that nonsense to me, commenting it on my channel. There's only one reason why they have to use other people to try to do it, because they're blocked on here. And when they can use you to bring it to my channel, then I have to block you too. And for all I know, you could be them. See, because they come in many types of names. This person doesn't even show their face. Okay? That's the way the devil is when he goes around sneaking around doing what he does. They do it without people seeing. And unexpectedly, they sneak in. They, you know, that's what they do. So anyhow. I don't even like to spend too much time on it, but I will let you know the devil is slick. The devil deceived the whole world. And those that have the spirit of the world are the devil. The devil is abiding them. See, you either have the spirit of the world or you have the spirit of God. You can't have both. You're not you're gonna serve one or the other. That's what Jesus says. You're gonna love one or the other. And there's people that say they love God, but they got to do this too. They're doing both. You know, they're choosing that. And it's causing them blindness. And I'm also aware how the devil works. That's why I say when they bring that nonsense to me, this is where you got to do your own testing of the spirit. That's up to you how you handle it. And this is how I handle it. When they bring it to my channel, if they get you to bring it to my channel, that's their only chance of doing it. I block you. And then they'll go after somebody else if they can contact you through your, if you got a channel, they may leave a comment on your channel and try to get you to see something and listen to it. And if you do, and if you can't discern who they are and what they do, then I don't know what to tell you. I clearly know. Okay. Here we go. We're at the end, you guys. The ships are out at sea. That's very close. I don't play games. I say it straight like it is. I've been doing it that way since I started. Okay. I don't play games. And God's not playing games either. He said the games are over. All right, let us go to, did we do Ephesians chapter 4, 17 and 18? Yeah, we did that. We did that one already. Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. All right. In whom the God of this world, he has blinded the minds of them, which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine into them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, ourselves, your servant, for Jesus Christ. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, he has shined into our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And we have this treasure in earthly vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. You guys listen to this. When Jesus came here, he used to remove demons from people, spirits. He'd remove them and then he would say, sin no more, lest something worse happen to you. They didn't go around to houses and buildings and sit there and remove spirits from houses. They didn't do that. I mean, if they did, tell me in here where they did it. I've never read that. But see, your body is a temple. All right? And this is where we came in here to know what good and evil is. 
And when you don't do good, what did it say? It said, uh, he said this to Cain. He goes, if you do well, won't you be accepted? And he said, if not, then sin lays at your door. Sin lays at your door. Okay. You guys, we abide in Christ right now. Right now. And that's why it says, don't grieve the Holy Spirit where you've been sealed till the day of redemption. And if, and if you have the spirit of the world and it's not the spirit of God, where do you think you're going? You know, you can't serve both. The spirit of the world, who's the prince of this world? Satan. Spirit of the world. Satan. And too many people out there teaching this stuff. They ain't preaching it neither. All right. Let us go to... Uh, Let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1 through 5. All right. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men will be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. For these are the, the sort that creep into Houses led captive, silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers' lust. They're ever learning, but they're never able to come to the knowledge of truth. Be careful, you guys. You don't want to be led away with these people. All right, you guys, that's it. I'm going to close with that. And uh, be careful, you guys. This is where, like I said, the ships are out at sea right now. This is where it says, you have to overcome this world. Jesus Christ overcame the world. And he said, those that love this world, you're the enemy of God. You know, he didn't open my eyes to where I would still, I understand what this world is completely. I have no illusions about it. And this is what I'm doing. This is what I do. And I, and I don't sit there and try to tickle people's ears and think, you know, how lovely things are. I've had people come over there where I'm at in the cabins in the woods. And they looked at me and they said, oh, man, what a view. You must love it here, man. You are so fortunate to have this. This What a view. I looked at him and I said, you know, you think I'm here for the view? I'm not here for the view. I said, I'm here because we're in the end times right now. You know, this is, we're not here. You know, that told me a lot about them, who they were. They were of the world. We weren't supposed to come here and fall in love with this place. He said, be fruitful and multiply. He said, give to Caesars what's Caesars, but give to God what's God's. And then there's a lot of things that they were said. Jesus even said, he goes, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments and my teachings. People don't read you those scriptures. They just say, oh, we're covered. We're sealed to the day of redemption, man. Yeah, Jesus did it all, man. So now they think that they can just live sinfully. Yeah, they, they can have the spirit of the world too. And Jesus clearly said, you can't serve two. You'll love one and hate the other. He also said there's many that will have a form of godliness. And he said, you got to overcome the Pharisees. Let me tell you, the Pharisees, they loved to be sitting in the upper room. They had the spirit of the world. That's the Old Testament. But if you know and you've read your Bible, you're going to know who they were in the Old Testament. 
they had the spirit of the world, which is the devil. You know, Jesus Christ, he was doing good things. And you got people doing good things and you got somebody out there calling them the devil, a liar, a cheat. And yet they're out there trying to do good things. And if you believe that based on somebody's accusations, then you know nothing. All right, you guys, I hope and pray that y'all receive a message from this. Be careful, lest you be led away with the error of the wicked. Okay? If you want to make comments on these channels, man, that's fine. That's great. With that, I find one another. But if a mocker and scoffer contacts you, please don't waste my time with it. Because, like I said, the ships are out at sea right now. And if that's what they're focused on, this is over here. It's over. Be careful and discern the spirits. Know who they are. Okay, God bless you guys. Love you in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.